Welcome to this podcast. I'm your host, Eric Kish. My co-host is Jim Merling, and we have with us Laura Potter, Cuba player, and she and a string quartet are going to do a very interesting concert. Now, one of the works on the program is a piece called Doors by a composer, Lon Chaffin, and that's what we're going to talk about now. Laura, firstly, it is unusual to do a string quartet and a tuba. You're correct that tuba and string quartet is not the most traditional chamber music ensemble, and it's something that I think really was pioneered by a tuba player uh, named Harvey Phillips, who in the 20th century was a huge advocate for the tuba. Um, he attended Juilliard and um, was kind of discouraged by the repertoire that was available to him, you know, hearing violin players playing Mozart and Paganini and in their practice rooms, and he was playing Asleep in the Deep and, um, you know, all these sort of uh, dorky tuba tunes. And um, Vincent Persichetti, who was on the faculty at Juilliard, encouraged him to advocate for the tuba, and if he wanted better repertoire, ask composers to write it and also steal things from other instruments. Uh, how I came across the piece by Lon W. Chafin, it's on a CD that was recorded by Jim Shearer, who's a fantastic tuba player um, on the faculty of the University of New Mexico, and he recorded an entire CD that's for, uh, for a tuba and string quartet. Two of the pieces that are on that album will be performed in the concert. What attracted me to this particular piece, Doors, was uh, really that it connects with the theme of City Music's season, which is colors. And so, um, you know, reading about this piece and seeing that it was inspired by photography, um, that it deals with these blue doors, um, it just made a very literal connection for me to, um, to that theme of city music season and so I started listening to it and found that it's a really it's a really fun piece it's kind of eclectic in some of the inspiration um, and it, it delves into different styles throughout the movements so I thought it would be a lot of fun to program it. Now you mentioned that it is connected very much with photography about doors in New Mexico and in fact on YouTube there is a version of this piece that uses the photography of, I believe, a friend of Chaffin's who did a wide variety of doors. Now, rumor has it that for the concert, you and the group will also be showing photographs. Is that correct? Yes, that is something that we are planning to do. So the uh, the photography is by uh, Jim, K Jim Gale and it's um, photographs from Albuquerque. And when Chaffin wrote this piece, he really wrote it as sort of a multimedia performance. And uh, he has a whole part of his own setup to um, change the photographs that go along very closely with musical cues. It's a huge interest of his as a composer to do these multimedia collaborations. And so he actually, I just found out, is going to come up to Cleveland and perform with us and run this multimedia element um, that oh, will be part of the piece. Wonderful. So this is going to be these incredible photos of his friend, which if you look at the YouTube performance is exactly what we'll be getting in Cleveland. That's wonderful. Now, you alluded to the fact that you found this piece to be kind of quirky and interesting. Jim and I listened to it, and we're quite entranced by the interaction between the music and the pictures. And this is especially true of the last two movements, which are really quite exciting. Here is a, a clip, a 20-second clip from the, the fourth movement. This is called uh, Blues. And it features blue doors and some pretty intricate uh, passages for the tuba. So let's do a quick listen and then you tell me what so fascinated you about the piece. <laughs> Thank you. 
Just a little taste of the last movement of Doors by Lon Schaffen and uh, Laura, tell us about it. This particular movement is obviously uh, an actual blues, um, not just not just sort of um, blues inspired, but a true blues tune that is incorporated in this movement. And it's it's one of the many ways in the piece that Chaffin illustrates the photographs in a, in a musical way. So it's sort of a, in a way, a, a literal, um, you know, blue, blues, blue door, but kind of fits within his eclectic um, inspirations for the piece. So it's, it's very fun um, to play the blues. Uh, tuba is definitely a blues instrument <laughs> um, or can be. I am fortunate that uh, one of my teachers when I was in school is one of the great jazz tubists. Uh, his name is Jim Self out in LA. So um, he made sure that I had experience playing playing jazz and playing in a blues style. So so it's fun for me to, to pick this up. And there are other places in the other movements where similarly, you know, there's, there's um, something that Chaffin does musically that really alludes to what's happening within the photographs, like in the second moving movement, old leaning lumber, there's some rhythmic passages and, and the way the notes are moving just gives you that sort of a little bit of the off balance feel. And you can imagine um, the, these sort of um, unstable uh, lumber structures through, you know, what's happening rhythmically and musically. Well, Laura, thank you so much. This has really been a, a wonderful introduction to a piece that we'll all, I'm sure, be hearing for the first time. Good luck and really looking forward to it. I'm a big fan of multimedia. Uh, City Music has done some of that before, and I'm glad that you're staying with the tradition.